Yugoslavia was a complex country, but it had a socialist model that was moderate. But there was always space for debates uh, with and, and sort of the removal of the centralization. There's definitely a lot of potential of us not just to learn for the future, but also kind of accept all of these legacies as something that's relevant right now and that can be used in in the everyday life. It, while things might are better in many ways now, you know, it's more stable, better at least materially speaking here. I do think uh, ethnic relations are much worse uh, and the younger generations have inherited the problems that they did not create. We deal with the past and we learn from the past in order to do something better in the future, like not for the sake of knowing the things, but using them for, so for something different. The good news, a bit about good news, is that people started resisting this narrative. The cultural exchanges, they do exist, that people do travel, that young people do connect with also ideas that, you know, we might have, a, we might build a, a society where everybody will have their place and people uh, might be, you know, equal, that there is something called social justice and social equality.